All right, Ned Yost might have sealed his fate with the Royals fan base after making one of the worst managerial blunders of the year. Yost apparently went brain dead when he sent Jeremy Guthrie back to the mound in the eighth inning of the game in Detroit. Guthrie, who had been flirting with danger all afternoon, had given up a dozen hits. His pitch count was in triple digits. Still, the manager allowed Guthrie to face the same batter who had earlier belted a two-run homer for the Tigers. Alex Oliva was due up and must have been biting at the bit to get another crack at Guthrie, and he did. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry in this city had a pretty good idea what would happen, and it did. Oliva homered again, and the Royals were cooked. And the outrage began on Sports Talk Radio today. What in the world is this manager doing? The Royals had the very best bullpen of all of baseball. He completely ignores it. That's grounds, folks, to be fired on the spot. He was canned in Milwaukee late in the season and during the playoff drive with the Brewers. You know why now, don't you? We've had to watch this guy play favorites all year long at the ballpark. The Royals went through a horrid month in May. It cost them the pennant because Yost kept trotting out guys like Jeff Francoeur and Chris Getz who couldn't hit a lick. Now, when the Royals have finally positioned themselves in the first playoff hunt in over 20 years, he screws it up. What he did with Guthrie is inexcusable and could very well have ended the Royals' playoff hopes. I think it did. The sad part of this, Yost and the general manager, Dayton Moore, they are joined at the hip. Both are in the final year of their contracts. I am all for Moore getting an extension, but re-signing Yost would be a monumental mistake. Yost should be toast. Baseball fans in this city deserve better. That is Jack Smack.